Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, you've been thinking that your spouse or partner is getting ready to walk away from you. You're trying to figure out if it's actually up in here or for something that's really about to go down. Let's talk about some of the signs that you should watch out for when your partner's getting ready to leave you. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn, and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire. So you're thinking that your spouse or mate just might be about to walk away from you, but you're trying to figure out if there's something out there to give you, an, give you a sign, give you an inkling of what's actually about to go down. So I'm going to give you seven signs today that you need to pay attention to. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing that you need to pay attention to, which is a huge sign, which is they stop arguing with you. They stop asking you where you've been. They stop asking you what time you're coming back. All of those are signs that if they have not already started to, you know, separate your money or started to look for places, they are emotionally checking out, which is a huge sign to say, you know what, they about to leave your butt. So if you're okay with them leaving you, fine. You probably wouldn't be on this video if you're okay with them leaving you. So if you are not okay with them leaving you, then this is an opportunity for you to get your act together if you want to keep your spouse, if you want to keep your girlfriend, if you want to keep your boyfriend around. If they have stopped asking you where you've been, if they have stopped arguing with you, especially if they used to do this insistently, incessantly, all the time, it felt like they was nagging so much that they used to um that they used to argue and pick fights and where have you been having a twenty million fifty yeah twenty million fifty questions. <laughs> So if they're not doing that any longer, I'm telling you, this is a huge sign that they about to leave your butt. The second thing is the sex is now sucking or it just stopped altogether. Now, this obviously is dependent and I have to make a disclaimer, actually, on all of these. This is all dependent on how your relationship once ran and now how it's starting to run now. And especially if it's starting to run like this for a period of time. Your spouse, your partner is just out the door. But specific to sex, if they didn't have a no sex um, sex drive, you guys, basically, y'all sex life was on point, right? And now it either sucks or it just stopped like out of the blue. Like your sex life was cool. It was a few times a week, few times a month, whatever worked out for y'all schedule, right? And then all of a sudden, it's no more. And they always got an excuse on why. They can't give it to you. Something else is going on. Now, obviously, there has to be multiple, multiple of these things occurring and not just a one-off, right? So if, if there are several of these things that I'm getting ready to mention and, and in addition to the other two that I just mentioned, you need to watch out because you're about to get left. The third thing to watch out for is that your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend is now, they find the reasons to stay away from the house longer and longer. Whether they're saying it's work or now all of a sudden they want to hang out with their friends all the time for extended periods of time where you used to have dinner together and be able to have talks together, or watch movies or whatever. And now all of a sudden you're in the bed by the time they come home. They find the reasons not to come home to you. And it is on purpose. Something is absolutely going on with him, with her, with y'all. Along with number three, them staying away from the house goes into number four, which is the emotional distance. Y'all used to be able to talk about any and everything. Y'all talked about it all the time. They, both of you guys were really good at sharing your thoughts and your feelings. And all of a sudden, all of that is starting to shut all the way down. There are no talks about what you're feeling. There are no talks about, you know, just whatever it is that you felt that kept you guys connected. 
all of that is ceasing to exist. Another thing to watch out for, which is point number five, they about to leave your butt, is when they start making all of these what if statements, such as, maybe we're just not good together, or I'm not good in relationships, or relationships shouldn't be this difficult, or relationships shouldn't be this hard. Or why do I have to put in so much work in this relationship? When they start saying statements like that, they just about checked out. And it really is only a matter of time. If you guys cannot get this together where statements like that cease to exist, one day you're going to come home and all this stuff going to be packed up. And it's interesting. I was talking to a client. This actually happened um, at least a year ago, but maybe even two at this point. And um, he was basically saying that he kept talking to his girlfriend about whatever their scenario was, right? Whatever their scenario was, he kept talking to her like, hey, babe, we need to get this together. We need to get this together. And then, just like I told you, he stopped talking about it. And one day, she came home. Um, unbeknownst to her, she was at work. They did their whole little dance that they do in the morning. She went to work. And while she was at work, those eight hours he spent moving out and he didn't talk to her no more so when I say that these things happen when I say that these things will occur I've talked to people and they have occurred so if you don't want this person to just up and leave your butt and you feel like oh my god this just came out of the blue usually it don't come out of the blue you're just not willing to pay attention or to do anything about with what your spouse, what your girlfriend or boyfriend is complaining to you about. And then all of a sudden, when they do leave you, because that's what you think, you think it's all of a sudden. But really, when they're telling you this stuff, they're giving you ample opportunity to change, to change and to get your act together. But because you think that you are the ish and the person ain't never going to leave you because your ish don't stink. And then there's a wake up call. <clears throat> I actually have a female client that this happened to. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. She was on the opposite end of it. So she was the woman um, that the guy left, but uh, he didn't just move out. He came into her and he had been telling her, been telling her, been telling her, listen, get your act together. We need to do X, Y, and Z. And then he started making some of the statements that I just mentioned. And one day she felt like she needed to go off because he wasn't home at, you know, the time that they discussed or whatever. And um, it wasn't that big of a deal, but I guess it was for her, obviously, which was why she went in there and went off on him. And at the end of the going off and, you know, letting him know, he was like, yeah, this ain't working out for me. So what I'm going to do is I'll... I'll I'll, I'm actually going to leave for the night, but I'm actually going to pack up and be gone within two weeks. And she was like, mm -hmm. distraught, of course, you know, the crying, right? And so when her and I talked, she was just like, I don't feel like he's giving me, you know, a second chance. And I said, well, based off of what you told me, he was on like four or five chances. You never got your act together. These things happen. Your boo may be on the way out. And if you don't take action now, that's how I'm going to leave that. If you don't take action now, you'll be dealing with the consequences later. The sixth thing to think about is that now, all of a sudden, you notice that their profile picture on all of their social media sites have now been changed to a solo pic. It used to be pictures of y'all all the time. Like, they was always, like, any picture that y'all took, like, ooh, we need to change our picture or whatever, right? It was changing pictures all the time. Y'all was taking pictures all the time. And it could just be y'all not even taking pictures anymore. Again, the behaviors have changed. The behavior is what you need to pay attention to. The behaviors have now changed. And specific to this point, 
all their pictures or most of their pictures on their social media profile is now a solo pic of him or of her. It is no longer YouTube. The last thing to pay attention to is that there are no more single dates, meaning dates between only you and your partner. It's either a group date where multiple people are around because they want to enjoy themselves and you are no longer doing it for them, or they're just no dates at all. So there is no real alone time spent between you two. Just something to think about. Is this something that you need to get your act in order? Because maybe your spouse is on their way out the door. And if you don't get yourself together, are you going to be ready to kick yourself in the butt for not getting yourself together? Or are you going to actually pay attention to the signs and the behaviors and the statements that are coming out of his or her mouth and actually change some things about yourself? Sit down and have a big boy conversation. Sit down and have a big girl conversation about some of the things that you need to be fixed within your relationship. Especially if this is a... Listen. If this is a person that you can actually trust, if this is a person that you can actually let down your guard with and be vulnerable with, you can have the big boy conversations. You can have the big girl, big girl conversations. What's stopping you from having the conversations to get things changed around so you can create the relationship that you want and not just be in any type of relationship. If you don't get your act together, your spouse your girlfriend, your boyfriend will leave. 